For most fisheries in the world, one of the biggest problems is working out just how many fish are out there and how many of those fish are being caught. This percentage is called the harvest rate and it goes a long way to telling us if there'll be plenty of those fish left to catch in the future. One way of trying to keep track of a fish population is by tagging. But traditional tagging hasn't been such a huge success for Spanish mackerel. Spaniards are strenuous fighters, and by the time they hit the deck, they've given everything they've got, which means they're not great survivors when you let them go. So government scientists in the Northern Territory developed this special lure to collect a sample from the mackerel without having to catch it. We're actually using copper, and the copper straightens when the fish hits the copper. But it's got a very sharp point on it and some retainers inside. And the idea is that the, the hook opens up but leaves behind a little piece of flesh in the, in the actual hook itself. And from that flesh, we can get a DNA fingerprint of that particular fish. The samples are then frozen and sent to this Department of Primary Industries lab in Brisbane. Thousands of pectoral fins are sent here as well. The DPI in the Northern Territory collects them from both the recreational and commercial fishermen to see if the Spanish mackerel left caught have been tagged before using the gene tag lure. We're looking here at the genotypes of 16 fish. They're like coloured barcodes. Now that means that when we genotype this fish again, after its fin has been taken um, by a fisherman, um, we can say, oh, we, we recognise that fish. That was the fish that we um, sampled with the lure um, three months ago in this particular location. The gene tag project has been going for about five years now and it'll be another 18 months before scientists come up with an estimated harvest rate. But it has produced some pretty interesting results already. Rick Buckworth designed the gene tag lure and confirms that when Spanish mackerel are on the chew, they're insanely aggressive feeders. Sometimes when we, we deploy a gene tag lure, you know, we, it's, it's behind the boat, you throw it in and bang, it's a fish has struck it, then you're hauling it in, bang, 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 bang. Four fish will hit that lure, which is, is stunning. While Rick was developing the lure, he trialled an underwater lure cam to see if he could capture the Spaniard's feeding behaviour, but found the mac attack was too fast to record. Now we're getting the fish entering and striking so fast that all we're seeing is a, is a, a fish in the distance, uh, a brief smile as it takes the lure and, and the flash of its tail as it disappears into the distance. So we're actually not able to tell from that, simply because they're so fast, much about their behaviour except that they strike these lures at a, at a speed of around 70 kilometres an hour, which is, is uh, pretty impressive. If you want to find out more about this cutting edge project or other exciting advances happening in the world of fisheries biology, log on to the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation website and have a look around.